In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the thrust testing results of the T-Motor F1103, 8,000 kV, as well as the 11,000 kV. Now, the 8,000 kV version, I've tested on a 2 and a 3S HV, and the 11,000, just a 2S. However, you need to take something into consideration, which is the shaft size right here. Now, the shaft size is... Not exactly 1.5 millimeters, it's slightly shy of 1.5 millimeters, so those cheap 65 millimeter push-on props might give you a little bit of a hard time to stick on. Actually, they won't stick on, so just take that as you know a note. Um, they don't really hold that well, so you'll need something like a gem fan that takes the screws. Now, as you can tell, they also do provide the screws for you right there. Also, the shaft is one single piece. Some of these motors come with two pieces and some C-clips, some weird arrangements. However, in this case, it's just one solid shaft, which I think is a better way to go, to be honest. So I really do believe these are going towards the toothpick class here, and that's what they're trying to do here. And it just makes sense because, you know, winter season, usually winter season is the whoop season and also the micro season. Um, I'll also be doing a waterproof build very soon, so we can fly it in the snow. It's going to be pretty cool, pretty interesting. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the results here. So while I'm picking up the results here, this is our latest design right now we just released. It's basically FPVs in our blood or FPV drones in our blood. You can see a little nice heart and everything. And uh, I'll have a link to it down below if you are interested. All right, so these tests were done on a gem fan, not the usual prop I always test because... Um, they just kept slipping, and I couldn't really get the proper uh, reading, especially on full throttle. So I decided to go with the gem fan. I forgot which one it is. It's linked down below. You can go ahead and check it out. It's actually a pretty good one. So let's take a look at this. Now, up here, we this is the testing results for the 8000 kV on a 2S. Here's another one with the 8000 kV on 3S and also the 11000 kV on 2S. Now, what we see here is each line represents a throttle level. This line is 25 50%, 75%, and 100% throttle. So this is kind of an interesting result here. Now, I don't know if it's due to the propeller or the motor, but if we take a look at the 8,000 kV on 2 and the 3S, we see that the maximum output power was roughly the same. So it's peaking just at 140 here on the 8,000 kV, but it's not efficient on 3S. That's pretty insane, actually, when you think about it. Uh, so it's not that efficient on 3S HV. So I guess both of these motors are really meant for a 2S. It just makes more sense. If you take a look at the 2S, we're getting 2.6 grams of efficiency or 2.6 grams uh, per watt of efficiency here or gram force per watt to be exact. Uh, so the efficiency is better on the 8000 kV. I always look for efficiency. Still nothing beat the cheap happy model 8000 kV motor for efficiency. The 1102 and the 1103, those things just blast and just they can fly on any shitty battery and that's something i really love actually i love the efficiency personally so it's worth it for me for you it might be a different story t motor is really known uh in really good companies one of the best motor companies out there or manufacturer we should say so we can see that the 8000 kv performs really well on 2s hv also pretty good on par on uh 3s but it's when you look at these, you're better off running it on a 2S. Uh, what's really nice with this one is that it didn't heat up on a 3S, which is a really good thing. Uh, usually other motors, for example, Geb RC would tend to heat up quite dramatically and sometimes even have a little smell going for them, even the Mamba. So yeah, this is really great to see that the T-Motors held themselves very nicely. And even if they got hot and no smell, that means that the coating they're using on the copper is really good. And to be honest, that is expected from T-Motor. Uh, so yeah, there's a result for the 11,000 kV. I personally don't like anything above 8,000 kV for these, but you know, it comes down to you and your use case and your preference. But I usually tend to like 7.5 thousand kV or 7,500 to 8,000 kV, but that gives me that flexibility to run a 2 and a 3S. So it has to run 3S just fine. And those tend to give you the most flight time and the most bang for your buck on a 65 millimeter prop. Um, this is from my experience and this is what I like to go for. And uh, overall, it's a good motor. 183 grams on the 2S. That's pretty insane. Not that efficient on full throttle, but still, you know, an acceptable efficiency because most of the time you're flying anywhere between 50 and 75% throttle. Again, these are all my opinions. And let me know yours down in the comment section. And, um, well, I'll have everything linked down below. Come join my Patreon. I have a ton of giveaways this month. I got a bunch of these. I got a bunch of, bunch of stuff for giveaways. So come join. You also get access to my secret shop and... 
you can buy any two shirts and get one free only to patreons so i have really sick fpv shirts that are really capture the core of what we do and i'm gonna leave it at that guys everything's linked down below if i can get you a coupon it'll be there and i'll see you in the next one peace out guys